Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back at you with another 5R tractor video. Tonight I was just out using the tractor and I decided it would be a perfect night to do a little demonstration on the lighting options. And I have two different tractors sitting here to compare to. One is our obviously our 2018 5125R John Deere. The other is our 2006 John Deere 6420. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the lights off here in a minute and show you the different lighting options. But I guess just to show you the difference between two, and I apologize, it's really dark, but I need that in order to make this work. But um, we have the 5125R sitting here on the left. And then the 6420 from 2006 sitting on the other side here. Uh, obviously the 5125R is equipped with the LED package, whereas the uh, 6420 is only equipped with the halogen work light package. So what we're going to do here, we're gonna turn each one on individually and demonstrate the differences between the two so that you can see why the LED package is probably worth the money if you're specking one of these tractors new. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut all the lights on the shop off here. And I apologize, I wish I could flip this camera around. But I'm just using my iPhone tonight, so kind of stuck. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and it's gonna get really dark here for a minute. <clears throat> so we'll do the 6420 first so that you can see what the halogens look like. And I'm not gonna turn the tractors on, I'm just gonna turn the lights on without the engine running so you can hear me talk. Okay, so we got the lights on the 6420 running. Obviously this tractor is equipped with Basically four halogen headlights on the front on the hood and four work light halogens up on the top of the roof there. And then two work lights halogen style in the rear. And as you can see, nothing on the side. So in these tractors, they never had any side work lights. You could add extra ones, but they never really came with that unless you added them separate. So give you an idea what that looks like in terms of the lighting power. Not bad, fairly bright. And I can also give you a cab perspective, what that looks like. The thing with halogens is it's kind of that warmer color. I don't know that it's necessarily brighter. So sitting in the cab, this is what you're looking at. If you look to the sides, it gets really dark pretty quick. And then your light picks up again in the back. Pretty good for 2006, definitely gives you enough light to get work done a lot better than the old 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 school tractors but um when you see the led upgrades it's going to be pretty impressive so we're going to go ahead and jump from tractor to tractor here i'm going to shut this off for a minute and again it's going to get real dark just bear with me we'll jump in the 5125r turn those lights on numerically speaking there's technically more lights on the 6420 also kind of nice that the feature they added here was this step light. It shines down when you open the door. When you close the door, it goes off. Very nice little feature. We'll get the LEDs fired up here. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna put the LED lights on the loader mast as well, but it just kind of helps round out the numbers, I guess. So you can see right off the bat, it doesn't like it when you leave the lights on. Okay, looking at the differences. LEDs are a lot brighter. And it's a lot cleaner light. And a pretty, actually a slightly better pattern all the way around. I mean, look at the difference in how far it goes left to right. What you'll also notice too is actually, and it's hard to see from this video, but the LED lights are actually a lot smaller in diameter. It's a much smaller light. The big thing they added was this side work light, which really makes a big difference, man. When you're inside the cab, it lights up all this side area that the other tractors just leave behind. Um, but the LEDs are, I think, are totally worth it. It's a cleaner light. It's a lot stronger light. I mean, if you didn't know any better, you'd think it was daylight. And if you look out here, it's just, the pattern is much wider. It's a much more clean light, I think. Definitely stronger long range. I mean, it just turns night into day. We'll give you the uh, inside the cab view. I'll show you the differences here. Plus 0% on almost everything. With 1,500 vehicles up 
Okay, looking at the differences between the two, I mean, there's no comparison. Your left to right angle is much wider, much cleaner light all the way around. Really, really lights up that field in front of you. And as you spin around, there's no dead zones. You have light all the way around, especially back in this area, if you're pulling, like I'd say, a, a towed disc bind or something like that, where your implement's gonna be, there is tons of light here and plenty of light here to see what would be in front of your implement if you were pulling it. And the back is just bathed in light as well. And that's incredible thinking that basically all this light is coming from two very small LED work lights. They are incredibly potent, very, very high lumen output. Um, it's incredible. I mean, the, the view all the way around at nighttime in this thing is just impressive. It actually makes me want to upgrade all the other tractors to those LEDs as well. And I may end up doing that in the future. I mean, no comparison. So, and the best thing about it too, a lot longer life. Um, these burn way longer than the old halogens will. LEDs are 10 times as durable and they have almost no amp draw. So these lights really aren't working the tractor anywhere near as hard or the battery or electrical system anywhere near as hard as the uh, halogens do. And they also don't produce the heat. Um, so it's pretty impressive. I, I tell you right now, if you were looking to buy one of these tractors, and it doesn't have to be a John Deere, any really, any piece of equipment, if they offer you an LED lighting upgrade and you're doing any kind of work at night, um, if it's within your budget to get the LEDs, I highly recommend it. I mean, there's just no comparison. I will never buy another tractor that does not have LEDs on it. But if you have any questions on the lighting system, as always, you can post a comment below and I will get that answer to you. Thanks and have a great one.